Hi, I'm Joe Hazel, and in this video, we're going to describe how KEQ, or equilibrium constant, and Q, or reaction quotient, change with Le Chatelier's principle. When thinking about Le Chatelier's principle, an important term to consider is KEQ. KEQ is the equilibrium constant. This means that at equilibrium, the ratio of the concentrations of products to reactants is constant. Q, or the reaction quotient, is also a ratio of products to reactants, but it's the ratio of products to reactants at any particular time in a reaction. So we can think of this as where the reaction is at any point in time. Reaction quotient, or Q, is helpful for us because we can use its relationship to KEQ to determine how a reaction will shift to get back to equilibrium once disturbed. If a reaction is at a point where Q is smaller than K, that would mean the reaction has more reactants or fewer products than it would in equilibrium. So this reaction would shift toward the products or to the right. If a reaction is at a point where Q is equal to KEQ, this means the reaction is at equilibrium. It means that the ratio of products to reactants is the same as it would be at equilibrium, so the reaction won't shift unless it is disturbed. If reaction quotient Q is larger than K, that means we have more products or less reactants in our reaction than we would at equilibrium. If that's the case, that means our reaction would shift back toward the reactants. If we change temperature, this actually changes KEQ, whereas when we change pressure or concentration, this changes Q. This would also affect the equilibrium of our reaction. Now let's consider what happens if we disturb a reaction so that Q is smaller than K. Normally, at equilibrium, our concentration of products and our concentration of reactants is a constant ratio. So at equilibrium, our reaction quotient Q is equal to KEQ. If we were to somehow disturb our reaction so that Q were less than KEQ, this would mean we decrease the value for Q. The only way we could do this would be to increase the concentration of reactants or decrease the concentration of products. In order to return to equilibrium, where Q would be equal to KEQ, we would need to shift the reaction from the reactants to the products. We would need to make more products from our reactants, so our reaction would shift toward the products. Thanks for watching.